Jones chainsaw parts and repair. We're looking at an 031 still. And no, I haven't gone to the dark side of the force, but I've always said I'll work on anything, and this proves it. I'll work on anything. This is a saw for uh, a friend of Jim, a buddy here in Medford, and uh, I didn't get too many details with this thing, uh, other than it needed to be gone over. And when I went to pour gas in it, that was evident, because just about as fast as I poured gas in, gas was coming right back out. From these 031s, and probably others in this this line, the tank is in a half. Uh, there's a seam right here, and the starter and the tank and this AV mount here are all part of one assembly. So you basically have got to get your, your main handle, your throttle handle, get that stuff off. You got the three screws out here, one, two, three. And then there's a screw all the way around the back that's just covered by the drive case cover here. Once you get that loose, in theory this tank will come off, but you've also got the carburetor chamber screws. It sounds more complicated than it is if you just take a little time to look at it, you'll, you'll see it. But uh, yeah, not a real difficult saw to work on. I'm actually somewhat impressed. Not that I want to go out and buy any stills, but this one's not bad. Not bad. So, very clean. Other than that leaky fuel tank gasket, and I don't know why. I can only speculate that somebody changed the fuel filter and did it the hard way and pulled that tank apart and actually broke the gasket on reassembly. And then once it started leaking, it just kind of disintegrated. So, fuel tank gasket. A uh, fuel hose from the, the fitting up here down to the carburetor. And away she goes. Boot was in good shape. Obviously the crank seals are in good shape because it runs good at any angle. So, Jim, I think this one's uh, ready to go back to your friend.